Here are some of the most expensive foods ever sold. Number 10, Pizza Royale 007. There's no reason why delicious comfort food such as pizza can't become a ridiculously expensive delicacy. Domenico Crolla, chef and owner of Bella Napoli, made headlines when he created the most exclusive and expensive pizza you could ever imagine. Inspired by the allure of the luscious lifestyle of James Bond, Pizza Royale 007 became the most expensive pizza ever known. For the very modest price of just $4,200, you can grab one of these 12-inch pies. So what's on the pizza? Scottish smoked salmon, cognac marinated lobster, vintage balsamic vinaigrette, the highest quality prosciutto, a very special selection of caviar soaked in Dom Perignon, and to top it all off, 24 karat gold flakes thrown on top. If you thought the gold was for decorating purposes, you're wrong. It's the finest, most expensive edible gold you can find on the market. Although it may seem like just an idea to make more money, the real reason Krola created it is actually quite admirable. He originally made the pizza to auction it off on eBay to raise funds for the Fred Hollows Foundation. Would you guys eat gold on pizza? Let us know in the comments. And do us a favor and hit that like button. Number 9. Rolls Royce of Tacos we all know the effect Mexican food has had on the world. Well, culturally anyway. Restaurants dedicated to Mexican cuisine open all over the world daily. But have you ever thought about paying the price of a car for a single taco? If you feel like getting the fanciest item on the menu at Frida's restaurant in Gran Velas Los Cabos Resort on the Pacific coast of Mexico, you'll essentially have to be balling like Jeff Bezos, or at least Floyd Mayweather. For the modest price of $25,000, you'll get their most exclusive taco. Of course, there's gold involved. An infusion of gold is found on the corn tortillas. An exquisite combination of Kobe beef, beluga caviar, chivette coffee, black truffle brie cheese, langoustine, and dried morita chili pepper salsa. As if this weren't enough, more gold is added to the taco as a beautiful embellishment. Let's keep in mind this is all for a single taco. How many of these do you guys think they've sold so far? Number 8. Golden Popcorn Do any of you guys ever imagine yourself eating the world's most expensive popcorn? Yep, the default snack of any movie experience also has a very exclusive version. One that could cost up to $5 for a single kernel of popcorn. Chicago-based company Burko has made it their mission to provide an unforgettable experience for whoever buys their billion dollar popcorn. Of course, it's covered in gold, but that's not just it. Beneath this golden layer lays a layer of delicious caramel and to top it off, a lustrous coping of a very special salt produced only in the Danish island of Leso. Hold up, what? According to ancient mythology, the island of Leso was a place where many gods would feast and that's why the salt is special. The process to create it is known to be at least a thousand years old, and supposedly, the salt doesn't taste like any other salt. The creator of Burko's popcorn decided to use it in their recipe, but it wasn't an easy task. It took some calls to the Danish consulate, flying to Denmark, and a meeting in an office that was behind a couple of bank vault-like doors. A couple of weeks later, the Leso Island salt was ready to get on the popcorn. Number 7. Chocolate Pudding Whenever you feel like making anything fancier and more expensive, you just add some edible gold to it. Easy, right? However, in this case, this dessert is much more than a chocolate pudding covered in gold. It's the combination of some of the most expensive ingredients. Even a diamond was thrown into the mix. Starting with a biscuit jaconde at the bottom, the chocolate pudding stands along a layer of champagne jelly, specially created for this concoction. The dark chocolate base is then embellished with some edible gold leaves and a diamond. This exclusive treat can only be found at Lindeth Howe Country House Hotel in England. Priced at $35,000, the pudding was first bought by a 60-year-old man who wanted to splurge for his birthday. The man, who made a reservation to eat this one-of-a-kind dessert weeks in advance, said he felt that eating it made him feel great. But why though? 
He had bought it for a charitable fund that helped disabled adults. But that wasn't the only thing. The chocolate pudding also broke the record at the time for the most expensive dessert in the world. Number 6. Ubati King Melon The Ubati King Melon is gonna be tough to beat when it comes to expensive fruits. It's essentially as exclusive as it gets, as it can only be produced in the region of Ubari, near Hokkaido in Japan. Not only that, it's also known for its very sweet taste, a feature not very common among other types of melon. The Ubati King Melon is a mixture of two different types of cantaloupe, Earl's favorite and Burpee's spicy cantaloupe. That's the combination that created this fruit's very specific and extremely sought-after taste. Not only is it considered a delicacy among food connoisseurs, but it's also seen some of the highest bidding wars ever known for a fruit. Back in 2016, a pair of these melons were auctioned for the crazy amount of over $27,000. The man who paid this amount said he felt the need to support the Ubati region farmers, who year after year supposedly provide some of the best fruits in the world. Although the price he paid isn't the usual price for these melons, their usual price range is still quite high for a fruit. They go for about $50 to $100 a piece. Number 5. Bird's Nest Soup Bird's Nest Soup is exactly what you think it is, a soup made out of a bird's nest. But here's where it gets interesting. Chinese culture swears by its special properties, which are said to help people remain younger. A diet that includes at least 10 grams of this soup a day is said to help increase the chances of keeping your energy up and youthful looks longer. No wonder people pay a fortune for this dish. A kilo of white ness can sell for up to $2,000, while a kilo of red ness can sell for up to $10,000. Of course, no secret delicacy comes without some controversy. The type of ness that's used for the soup is only produced by a very specific type of bird, the swiftlet, a small bird found in Southeast Asia. Swiftlets are known to be an endangered species, and with the rising trend of Chinese people consuming enormous amounts of the soup made from their nests, the chances of them surviving are becoming smaller by the minute. The nests have three color variations, red, yellow, and white. The red soup is believed to be much more exquisite, mainly because people think it includes the bird's blood, but it doesn't. Number 4. Golden Opulent Sunday. New Yorkers are known for having a fancy thing or two, so it definitely makes sense this dessert is found in New York City. Found only at Serendipity 3, a popular yet extremely exclusive restaurant in New York's Upper East Side, the Golden Opulent Sundae is a mixture of some of the most elaborate ingredients. Tahitian vanilla ice cream, infused with an additional layer of Madagascan vanilla, topped with chunks of Venezuela's finest chocolate and Amadea Porcelana chocolate syrup. All of this covered by, of course, a generous layer of 24K gold leaves. You guys see a theme here? An additional combination of sweetened fruit, almonds, and truffles are used for a luxurious final touch. No Sunday is complete without some beautiful fruits on top, right? So what's it take to get one of these? For a thousand bucks and a reservation 48 hours in advance, you'll be able to try this dessert out on your next trip to New York City. Number 3. Alma's Beluga White Caviar Caviar is known as a quintessential food for rich people, but there's a specific caviar that takes it to the next level. Known as the creator of the rarest Beluga White Caviar on the market, Iranian brand Almas has managed to create an air of mystery around the production of their now emblematic product. Created using only eggs from a rare albino sturgeon more than 100 years old, Almas Beluga White Caviar currently holds the Guinness World Record for the most expensive caviar in the world. As the sturgeon gets older, their eggs apparently become smoother and more aromatic with a spongier texture. A kilo will run you around $25,000, although if you feel like just trying it out, 30 grams of this caviar will run you around 330 bucks. That's just a little over an ounce. That seems like a bargain now, doesn't it? Number 2. Matsutake Mushrooms Food is generally considered a token of appreciation and love. In this case, Matsutake Mushrooms have managed to go beyond that and turn themselves into a symbol of happiness and fertility. 
known for their strong smell and flavor. These mushrooms have garnered the praise of the Japanese culinary society for ages. These mushrooms have become one of the most sought after foods in the world, with hunters doing extensive searches in forests all over in order to export them to high paying customers in Japan. Domestic production of matsutake in Japan has been sharply reduced over the past 50 years because of a roundworm that's affecting pine trees. The mushroom's intense and spicy flavor makes them an item in constant demand, and the fact that they can only be cultivated in a very short span of time between September and January makes them even more exclusive. The price for matsutake in the Japanese market is highly dependent on quality, availability, and origin. The Japanese matsutake at the beginning of the season, which is the highest grade, can go up to $1,000 per kilo. However, the average value for imported matsutake is about $90 per kilo. Number 1. Bluefin Tuna The Tsukiji fish market in Tokyo is known for providing some of the finest seafood in all of the country, if not the world. They're also well known for their bidding process for fish, where prices can fly by the second. On one occasion, a prominent owner of a sushi shop bought a very special bluefin tuna for the astronomical price of $1.7 million. On a per kilo basis, it roughly translates to $7,600 per kilo. These bidding wars tend to reach the thousands, but this time it reached a new high. Even the man who bought it said the price was a bit too high. The prices are established as a publicity stunt, making buyers who can actually afford to participate pay enormous amounts for rare bluefin tuna. The famous bluefin tuna is found off of the northeastern coast of Japan. The problem with this is that it creates a larger and more exclusive demand for this fish, which is now extremely difficult to find because of overfishing in the past that's now drastically reduced its population. But the good news is that countries such as the US, Japan, and Mexico have come together and pledged to help the bluefin tuna recover. Here's what's next. Gold's payday for the win was a staggering $12 million, which is still the biggest payday ever for winning the main event title. However, trouble began brewing early for Gold as soon as he won the tournament. A business associate of Gold's, television producer Crispin Lacer, sued Gold for $6 million, claiming he had agreement with Gold prior to the tournament.